I'm celebrity menswear stylist Ashley Weston and here's my list of essential items that will keep you both looking stylish and comfortable this coming fall. So let's start with the most important of menswear items, unless you're a nudist, pants. So I usually recommend a pair of sleek and handsome fitted trousers, but if you want to switch things up this fall, then I'd suggest going for a wool pair with a more relaxed leg. We tend to think of wool as a hot and itchy fabric, but I can assure you that relaxed wool trousers are surprisingly breathable. My current favorites, which I've linked down in the description, actually feature an elastic waistband, which makes them even more comfortable. I'd recommend going for a pair in black or navy, or maybe one in each, as these are the most versatile shades. And when it comes to the fit, the key to pulling off this type of pant is to maintain a balance between relaxed and fitted. So this can be easily achieved by making sure that what you're wearing on your upper half, such as your t-shirt or sweater, fits your torso properly and you know has a slimmer fit to balance out the relaxed fit of the pant. There really is a time and a place for baggy shirt and pants combo. And by time, I mean 3 a.m. And by place, I mean in your bed at home away from the general public. Speaking of pants that are perfect for fall, my next pick is more fall than drinking a pumpkin spice latte at a pumpkin patch on Halloween. It's a pair of corduroy pants. So once reserved exclusively for your grandpa and those hippies at your college who spent all their time juggling and smoking weed, corduroy pants have made a big comeback in the last couple years and for me, they're the quintessential fall pant. The fabric is not only super comfortable, but the textured design looks great when paired with simpler items on your top half, like a chore jacket and t-shirt. Now, if this is your first pair, then stick with the more fallish colors like brown, burgundy, dark green, and even mustard if you want something a bit more colorful. All right, next up, we have a pair of pants that looks just as good in the fall as it does during the summer months, chinos. So I've talked a lot about chinos on my channel in the last few months and with good reason. They're the most versatile pair of pants a guy can own. They look great on any body type and they're a comfortable middle ground between smart and casual. Now that we move into the fall, some stores will have the option to get thicker chinos for that extra bit of warmth. And you can even pumpkin spice up your wardrobe with colors like gray, brown, dark green, and burgundy to complement this time of year. Otherwise, colors like navy and sand are definitely the most versatile options that you should definitely pick up if you haven't done so already. So now, let's talk about the pair of pants that you almost definitely saw coming. Dark wash jeans. Just like summer, spring, and winter, you're gonna need these bad boys for fall, and as we are moving away from brighter colors, you should definitely go for a pair of dark wash, AKA indigo jeans with no contrasting stitching. This will guarantee a clean, stylish, and sharp look and will work with whatever you pair them with. However, if your wardrobe is already filled with dark wash jeans, then black and gray are your two other color options that also work great throughout the fall and winter months. Moving on, we have a timeless menswear staple, the crew neck sweater. So it's the perfect transitional piece for when the weather starts to get a bit cooler. The crew neck sweater is a super stylish yet versatile layering piece. All right, so when it comes to the colors, you wanna make sure you have the basics covered. Now I'm talking shades like black, charcoal, and navy. After you've got those, you can totally branch out to some more fall centric colors like brown, tan, camel, dark green, and burgundy. However, some of these shades can be a bit tricky to pull off, so make sure you choose one that complements your skin tone. And if you're unsure what that means, I've linked a video on this very subject down in the description below. So you can easily dress up your sweater with some wool trousers and dress shoes, or go for a more casual look with items like jeans, chinos, and sneakers. Sweaters definitely look great when thrown over a plain t-shirt, but if you're a fan of wearing collared shirts, then I'd recommend going for a V-neck sweater instead. Now, speaking of collared shirts, so a casual button-down shirt is a fall essential that will instantly upgrade your go-to t-shirt and jeans look. 
Whether you choose the classic Oxford in white or light blue, or even more casual shades like dark green, navy, or burgundy, this is a great go-to for your everyday uniform. There is a selection of options when it comes to the type of fabric for your button-down shirt. You can opt for a standard Oxford cloth, flannel, or cotton, and depending on your own preference, you can go for either solid colors or patterns. The beauty of the casual button-down is that you can actually wear it with any of the pants that I previously mentioned for a casual yet put-together look. Also, try rolling up the sleeves and tuck the front of the shirt into your pants for a partial tuck. Now you have an outfit that is not only super comfortable, but will also look super stylish. And when it gets a bit chillier, throw on a jacket for an expertly layered, sharp outfit. Speaking of jackets, now if you're looking for a heavier version of the casual button down, then look no further than the overshirt, aka the shirt jacket, aka the shacket. Perfect for fall, this stylish item can be worn buttoned up or preferably unbuttoned over a t-shirt for a relaxed yet put together look. Color wise, you can go for solid color options as well as flannel style plaid options. Now, because these casual shirts are much more affordable than a jacket, I highly recommend avoiding neutral colors and going for the more earthy fall appropriate tones like dark greens, camel, burgundy, mustard, and gray. Now, while we are on the subject of jackets, if you're looking to add only one new item of clothing to your closet this fall, then it has to be the bomber jacket. Also, if you happen to have bomber jackets on your men's fashion or YouTuber video bingo card, this is your cue to cross it off. Bingo! So what is it about bomber jackets that I love so much? Well, essentially, it's because they go with everything and just look great on every man regardless of his age or body type. Bombers also have the power of keeping everything looking proportional, breaking up your body in a really flattering way. Convinced? I thought so. So for the fall months, I'd recommend giving your existing wardrobe a refresher by adding a bomber jacket in either wool or suede because in case you haven't gathered yet, fall and winter are all about textures. And like the rest of the items on my list, if you wanna go full fall, then stick with olive greens, grays, browns, and burgundy, AKA earth tones. All right, so if you're looking for something a bit more rugged, then I definitely recommend going for the next pick on my list, the trekker jacket. So this classic piece has a timeless and manly aesthetic, but if you think you have to stick to denim, then think again. If you have the budget, I definitely recommend splurging on a soft and buttery suede version. I mean, it's good enough for Ryan Reynolds, it's good enough for you, right? Truckers are supposed to have more of a snugger fit than bombers, so I must warn you that if you are a bigger guy who happens to be on the shorter side, then I would avoid this particular type of jacket as it's not gonna do you any favors. Generally, if you have to go with a larger size, then the length and the sleeves will be too long to accommodate both the width and length of your torso and arms. Yes, you could get alterations done, but they would be costly and to be honest, not worth it, especially since there are other jacket styles that will look great on you, like the bomber jacket or the next pick on my list. And that is the chore jacket. So if sports coats are a little too formal and conservative for you, then this jacket is the perfect middle ground, giving your outfits a more laid back feel while still elevating your overall look. Now, the best thing about chore jackets is that they can take you from day to night and they're a great layering piece for those who carry some extra weight up top. This is because the chore jacket helps to break up your body vertically, thus creating a great slimming effect. But please remember that if you are one of those larger guys, then you should avoid dipping or buttoning up any jacket as this will only make you look bigger and won't allow us to see any of those handsome fall inspired layers. So one of my favorite things about fall is that it means that we're officially in boot season. And this year, a pair of lace ups or chukkas, preferably in leather or suede, should definitely be your go-to footwear option. Now, if you are a frequent boot wearer, then you already know to aim for a dark brown, tan, or black color, as these are the shades that will easily go with the rest of your outfits. 
If this is your first pair, however, then you really can't go wrong with a medium brown pair. Also, suede should only be considered if you live somewhere with little to no rain because, trust me, you don't want to see the damage that water can do to these things after you've paid for them. Now, speaking of footwear, so for your fall wardrobe, I normally would recommend a pair of white leather lace-up low-top sneakers. Bingo! But as you're watching this video, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you already have a pair of those, right? In any case, my advice is to mix up your sneaker game and go for some black or brown leather lace-up low tops. Now, if you tend to wear more black items, then go for black, but if not, then definitely go for the ever-reliable brown. And if you can't decide, then I suggest you treat yourself to the staple of any man's wardrobe and go for both to refresh your shoe game with these super versatile colors. And there we have it. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.